In Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 7 and 8, we read, Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the presence of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you must go with this people into the land that the Lord swore to their ancestors to give them, and you must divide it among them as their inheritance. The Lord himself goes with you, before you, and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. When God tells us to go, we need to remind ourselves that every detail of our future is already known to God. Centuries ago, when a map maker would run out of the known world before he ran out of parchment, he would frequently draw a dragon at the edge of the scroll. This was intended as a sign to explorers that they were entering unknown territory at their own risk. Many, however, didn't regard the dragon as a map maker's warning sign, but instead as a prophecy. They foresaw disaster beyond the known worlds they traversed, and their fear kept them from pushing on to discover new lands and new peoples. Other more adventurous travelers, however, saw the dragon as a sign of opportunity and a doorway to new worlds that were worth exploring. Each of us has a mental map that contains the information that we use for guidance as we begin each day. And like the maps of long ago, our mental maps have edges to them. And sometimes those edges seem to be marked by dragons or fears. We fear falling, failing, being rejected or ridiculed, or that we won't have enough, or that we might lose what we do have. If that's how you feel today, remember the words spoken by God in verse 8 to his people when they stood on the threshold of the promised land without knowing what awaited them when they went into it. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. So write down your goal. Map out your strategy and set a deadline. Then commit it to God, believing that he has gone before you to prepare the way. And don't be afraid to go. This Sunday, we invite you to Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Join us for ice cream after both of our services this weekend. Our services are at 9 and 11, and you can also join us on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel at the Village Church at World Golf Village. But if you're joining us online, you'll have to get your own ice cream. And pray for our group today that will be serving lunch at Camp I Am Special today at noon. Thank you to Maria Cavanaugh for making it possible for us to serve these campers, their buddies, and the camp staff again this summer. It's always a wonderful experience. Have a great weekend, and remember, God loves you.